Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic preview on the channel. It is just under a couple of days' time, so say six days' time until we face Hearts in our first league game of the season. But first, we do have a Champions League qualifier second leg to deal with. Um, in this video, of course, I'll just be doing my predictions, my preview and team news and such more. Before we get it, guys, please subscribe and like recent views on the channel. It's been excellent as per usual. Before we do, let's get into it. The youth of Champions League qualifiers are back in action with an all-round um, this week, guys, Celtic lock on take on Michelin at the MCH Arena and on Wednesday. Both teams can be impressive on their day and won't want to win because you know more of the pressure. They could one side could be say you could say the pe more of the pressure's on Ange Postecoglou, but I think the pressure's less off us. But going by the recent performances, at Celtic it's going to be an absolute miracle. If Celtic get straight past Mi Michelin. It'll be an absolute miracle if we get past Michelin. Um, because Michelin obviously, so, you know, we were the better side in the first leg, you know, everybody knew that. Um, if you got out winners in that game, you know, say 2 0 and Barkas didn't make that stupid, I mean, any goalkeeper could say that in your life, man. It's absolutely ridiculous from Barkas. Um, if we had a, kept a clean sheet going into the second leg, I'd have been confident. Um, I'm definitely not confident at all. Michelin have grown in stature over the past few years. Uh, and could potentially qualify uh, for the Champions League this year again. The Danish Giants failed to win uh, the league last year and plenty of work to do in the months to come. Celtic on the other hand have endured a difficult couple of years um, and will need to... Oh, sorry, season, sorry. Um, Scottish Giants have plenty of work to do on the Ange post and need to do their best in this fixture. Now, Michelin versus Celtic head-to-head -head now. Um, Celtic have played only one match against Michelin and were unable to secure a victory on the day. Michelin are also unable to find their winning goal and will need to step up in this game. The previous match between the two teams uh, took place obviously last Tuesday, uh, Tuesday there and ended in a 1-1 draw. Both teams ended the match with 10 men and you could say the other way, Beaton, you know, lost the head and you know, um, the Michelin guy gets taken jail, you know, he's well deserved, you know, he's an absolute wind up and um, you get booked for what the, the beat on instant, and um, when we went down to 10 men in the second half, he got booked again, second jail for the absolute diving. Well, Stephen Welsh knew it because you know he got right in his face when he dived, and you know, fair play because if, if that, that's not a footballer, he's just he's just trying, he's just trying to get fouls for no reason. And fair play to the referee, you done, done that job there, but hopefully, we have a better referee because that referee on Tuesday night, he was absolutely appalling, absolutely appalling. Some of the I spoke about it in the three things we're in video. Absolute appalling. Um, but hopefully Celtic can do a lot better than Saturday's game against West Ham. Hopefully. Now Michelin versus Celtic team news. Um, I, I mean, we'll start with Michelin. Ario Simser has tested positive for coronavirus and has been ruled out of this match. Andres Dreyer was sent off in the first leg, as I said there, against Celtic and is suspended for this match. Uh, injured Ario Simser has tested positive for COVID, cor coronavirus and Valid Mar Bisco. Um doubtful as none. Um now moving on to Celtic now. Uh Va Barkas, Mikey Johnson, Caramel Cadwelli are injured, but Barkas will start. Um no matter what you know it says on a website I searched up if Barkas injured, there's no way in Christ he's injured. Uh, I'd rather not in goal, but you know, we've got Bain to back him up, you so <laughs> Jesus. To be the next keep the second choice keeper, so <sighs> Mate. Um Nate Beaton obviously was setting off uh, last week and will be excluded from the squad. Um there's no doubt for obviously just suspended near Beaton now. Michelin versus Celtic predicted starting eleven. I'm gonna go start with Michelin lineup, so I had to do some knee shirts from last week and then going into this week. So I think they're gonna start with a four three three, same as Celtic did last week as well. Um and go, I think they're gonna go with Lossal, uh, Paulinho, uh, Daniel Hudge, Eric Switchenko, former Celtic player, Henrik Dalsgaard, Rafael Noadik, Evander, Nicholas Madsen, Auer, Mid, eh, Mabil, Pione, Sisto, Junior Brumado. That is my starting eleven for Michelin. Now moving on to Celtic, I think they will start with a 4 3 3 as well. But I do think Scott Bay on goal. I think my Christ, um, Barkas, he's, he's got the height to be a keeper. How the hell did we get knocked up by Eki Athens in the, in the Champions League qualifiers when we faced him and he was in goal? Pfft, mate. Oh, how? We've ended up like this 
I'm going to go with Bengal. Anthony Allison, obviously. Stephen Welsh, I'm going to go with... There was a mix between no obviously, on Saturday, as I did the day it was played into the game, but Dane Murray was there. I think Dane Murray will start. I really do. Sorry get about the camera crack again. The reason I think Dane Murray will start is because... It's as if the giddy, he's not, he's not, I'm not confident with him, I, 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 no, I'm not Dane Murray, but I think Dane Murray will start. Greg Taylor. Sorry guys, my camera did come out, and also, I had to do something, so, so it's about that, but, moving on to, as I was saying, uh, Greg Taylor, Liam Shaw, Cal McGregor, um, I do think Liam Shaw and Cal McGregor start. McGregor was really good, he's excellent on um, Saturday, and the, the first leg at Celtic Park. I think Liam Shaw will start. Um, Going into the game, yeah, I think it will start. Uh, David Turnbull, uh, it's a weird, it's a weird lineup. I don't know. You know, going by last week's lineup, I, I think Ayeti will start definitely up front. Um, I'm not too sure else, but out in the park, but maybe Forrest will turn. We don't know, but Leo Bada, I'm definitely sure will start. Hopefully, anyway. Um, it's still to be given a shot, obviously. <laughs> I mean, a shot was bloody a hammering against the Hammers. West Ham six two victory um, over the weekend and cannot afford another. Hammering in this fixture, the Scottish outfit has impressive players in its ranks, but have to present something under Ange Boxcoggle this week. Michelin can pack a punch on their day and they're perfectly capable of pulling off a positive result um, on Pent Wednesday. Still, a better team on paper, however, should be able to win this game. And should be able to win this game, sorry. Prediction my prediction is Celtic 2, Michelin 1. I did say it's going to be an absolute miracle if Celtic get through this game against Michelin, but you got to bite your team. So, I'm going Celtic, uh, Michelin 1, Celtic 2. Um, I don't know if I'll be live streaming the... Right, I really need to get this camera fixed. As I was saying, I don't know if I'll be live streaming the, the event. Uh, event? The game on Wednesday night, I don't know. Um, but I will be sure doing the three things within video, so make sure you notifications on that video. Um, before I do guys, subscribe, like, peace.